In this series of videos, we will read the Care Certificate Workbooks, both what you need to know and what do you know now. This video covers Standard 13, Health and Safety, What Do You Know Now? And it's over to my colleague to read through this workbook. The Care Certificate, Health and Safety, What Do You Know Now? Standard 13, The Care Certificate Workbook. Activity 13.1a, Health and Safety. Identify, point out, highlight, or note down the main answers or examples that relate to the subject. Complete the diagram below to identify legislation that relates to the general health and safety in your workplace. Activity 13.1b. Ask your manager or a senior member of staff for your workplace health and safety policies and procedures and describe the main points below. Describe. To describe means to create a picture of words but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Policy or procedure relating to health and safety. The main points of this policy or procedure include and there are four boxes for examples. Activity 13.1c. Complete the sections below to outline the person's main health and safety responsibilities in the workplace. Outline. To outline means to provide a brief overview of the main points. Self, employer, others. Activity 13.1d. Complete the diagram to list the health and safety tasks that you should not carry out until you've had special training. List. This term means to identify the main points that can be written as bullet points. Health and safety tasks that need special training. Activity 13.1e. Choose three types of support or information you could use in relation to health and safety and explain how to access each one and how it could help you. Explain. To explain something you will need to provide a clear account of your understanding including details like why and how. Types of support. I can access it by. It could help me by. Activity 13.1 F, 13.4 A and B. List. This term means to identify the main points which can be written as bullet points. Write a list of different types of accidents and sudden illness which could occur in your workplace. Types of accidents and sudden illnesses that may happen at work include. Activity 13.1 F, 13.4 A and B. Describe. To describe means to create a picture with words, but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Complete the table below to describe three different types of accidents and three different types of sudden illness that could happen in your workplace. For each one, describe the procedure you should follow. Accidents. If this were to happen, I would. Sudden illness. If this were to happen, I would. Activity 13.2a. For each of the following examples, explain why it would be important to assess the health and safety risks. Explain. To explain something, you will need to provide a clear account of your understanding, including details like why and how. Example. Moving an individual using a piece of equipment, such as a hoist or a wheelchair. Example 2. When providing personal care to an individual. Example 3. Changing soiled bed linen. The lifting operations and lifting equipment regulations. The provision and use of work equipment regulations 1998. Set specific requirements relating to work equipment using for lifting and lowering people or loads. Specifically cover all movement or support by any load or physical by physical effort. Ensure that the equipment employers provide is a suitable and safe for what it is intended to Set specific requirements relating to work equipment used for lifting and lowering people or loads. Specifically cover all movement or support of any load by physical effort. Ensures that the equipment employees provide is suitable and safe for its intended use. Activity 13.3b. Complete the spider diagram below to list three moving and assisting tasks that you must not carry out unless properly trained. List. This term means to identify the main points which can be written as bullet points. Tasks I must not carry out until trained and competent. Activity 13.4c. Depending on your level of training and competence, 
there will be first aid actions that you are and are not allowed to carry out. Fill in the box below and list the emergency first aid actions that you are and are not allowed to undertake. List. This term means to identify the main points which can be written as bullet points. Emergency first aid actions I can do. Emergency first aid actions I must not do. Activity 13.5a and b. Describe. To describe means to create a picture with words but not simply writing the list of bullet points. Describe the key points of your employee's agreed ways of working in relation to medication and healthcare tasks. My workplace agreed ways of working in relation to medication are My workplace agreed ways of working in relation to healthcare tasks are Activity 13.5c There are a number of medication and healthcare related tasks you are not allowed to carry out unless you have received the appropriate training. List four of these tasks below. List this term means to identify main points which can be written as bullet points. Activity 13.6a Have a look around your workplace and make a list of hazardous substances you have found. Complete the table below to describe four hazardous and sub substances and why they are hazardous. List This term means to identify the main points that can be written as bullet points. Hazardous substance Why is it hazardous? Activity 13.7a Complete the grid below to list measures that prevent fires from starting or spreading. Explain for each measure why and how it works. Explain. To explain something, you will need to provide a clear account of your understanding, including details like why and how. Measures. Measures that prevent fires from starting. How and why. Measures that prevent fires from spreading. How and why. Activity 13.7b. Obtain a copy of your workplace fire procedure or agreed ways of working from your employer if work in a private homes of individuals and describe the different steps to take in the event of a fire. Describe. To describe means to create a picture with words but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Activity 13.8a. Describe. To describe means to create a picture of words but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Using examples from your workbook, describe five measures that are in place to protect your own and other safety and security. Activity 13.8b Explain To explain something, you will need to provide a clear account of your understanding including details like why and how. Using your workplace's agreed ways of working for checking identity in the boxes explain how you will ensure that no unauthorised person gains access to the premises or confidential information. Checking identity of a visitor. Checking identity of a caller. Activity 13.9a. The signs and symptoms of stress can be separated into three different groups. For each group below, give three examples of possible signs and indicators of stress. Psychological, physiological, behavioural. Activity 13.9b. Identify, point out, highlight or note down the main answers or examples that relate to the subject. Complete the spider diagram below to identify the circumstances that tend to trigger your own or other's stress. Stress triggers. Activity 13.9c. Think about situations that may trigger you to feel stressed. Which ways can help you to manage stressful times or situations? List 5. List. The term means to identify the main points that can be written as bullet points. Well done on completing the What You Need to Know booklet. We have the next standard in this playlist to support your learning through the full 15 standards. Mm -hmm.